What is going on my friends, Vitaly Dubin is here, founder of Bitcoin's Wolf's Club and welcome to another episode of Today in Crypto Show where I'm discussing the latest and the greatest news in the world of Bitcoin cryptocurrency and we are seeing Ethereum absolutely pumping today, reaching $470, breaking all kinds of resistances today. We're going to discuss what is the reason for that and why Ethereum may be going for $800 in a very short period of time in the next couple of weeks and maybe reach $2,000 by the end of this year. We're seeing Bitcoin soaring as well today and we're seeing the absolute explosion in decentralized finance space that is booming. We see all sorts of projects in the DeFi space and DeFi tokens with weird names like sushi and spaghetti <laughs> that are popping uh, uh, pretty much every single day, some a new token is, is popping out there in the DeFi space. We're going to discuss that and where it all leads. So um, get ready. This crypto market is absolutely crazy right now. So let's get started. We are seeing $400 billion market cap right now. We reach that milestone and Bitcoin dominance is going down, down, down. Right now it's 50 4.8% which means the altcoin market is booming, is rising, it's overtaking some of the funds from Bitcoin and the attention from Bitcoin will go into all to the altcoin. So the altcoin market is booming right now. We see Bitcoin right now trading $470. Just a couple days ago it was trading at $370. We had another $100 up for Ethereum in the last couple of days. We see Chainlink right now at $16. Polkadot is rising yet again, 9.2%. Amazing, amazing ecosystem. Polkadot is building 40% in the last seven days. And the biggest winners for today, Sushi is up 166.8% absolutely crazy 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 gains in the last 24 hours what is this sushi and they know they're doing sushi swap uh similar to uniswap and it's even an unaudited um yet uh, protocol yet people are greedy right now like crazy uh, for gains so sushi is gaining 166 percent today almost doubling it was actually over 200 percent a couple of um, minutes ago, yum version two, <laughs> yum yum, ninety-four <laughs> percent. DFY dot money, forty-five percent. Uma, twenty-nine percent. Ample force, twenty-six percent. Bit shares, twenty-five percent. We are in the bull market, guys. Check this out. Amazing, amazing gains across the board. Not many losers right here. What is it? Five percent losers? <laughs> really? Not, not much. Not much. We're seeing Bitcoin right now continuing to trade along this ascending triangle, reaching the top right now and trying to see if we can break yet again the $12,000 mark. If we are able to break out from this very important level for, uh, for another time, another attempt and actually reach the next target, which is $13,800 for the price of Bitcoin. And Ethereum, I mean, check this out. In the last several days, five days in a row, Ethereum has been printing green candles and reaching right now $470. If we are able to break the important $480, maybe uh, reaching the $500 level, it's not too far from here where we can see Ethereum trade at $800. I mean, looking at the history of Ethereum, right? This is right here about 480 dollars we have a lot of confluence over here we may reach 800 dollars pretty quickly in a couple of weeks uh, for ethereum so that's really really important we might see at 800 dollars some bigger resistance coming in and people are going to be weighing profit over 90 percent of holders of ethereum are going to be in profit at those levels and a pullback is uh, something to be expected even right now we might pull back but we have reached this 440 dollars that we try to break uh for for some times right we we couldn't break it over here the 440 dollar level and now we have broken this significantly today 
uh, and, and pumping right now it's four hundred and seventy dollars so we might go to four and eighty five hundred dollars even uh, today or tomorrow and then I expect some pullback for ethereum now why ethereum is you know why why there's so many reasons to be bullish on ethereum why ethereum can reach ten thousand dollars by the end of next year well ethereum has the biggest network effect of any smart contract platform by far as all of the decentralized applications decentralized financing uh, all of these tokens all of these projects are all built on the ethereum blockchain ethereum is the home of decentralized finance that is booming like crazy i mean just in may we we have seen this about one billion dollars in the end of may and right now it's 9.1 billion dollars total value locked we have 6.1 million in ethereum locked in decentralized finance space and we have 64,300 bitcoin locked in the decentralized finance space so this is absolutely booming right now uh, we have and I, I love how Lark has summarized this ethereum is the home of the stable coins you know the tether is sitting on the ethereum blockchain right and tether usdt it has a market cap of um right now you can see 13.4 billion dollars just continues to rise because uh we need more of that support of more of that tether as people will be looking to cash out of some of their profits and as bitcoin and ethereum are rising uh, we see that uh, Ethereum has more developers than any other chain, has more talent than any other chain. Ethereum is the second biggest grayscale, uh, which is a grayscale investment. It's been buying Bitcoin and Ethereum like crazy. Uh, meaning institutions love Ethereum. Ethereum is being used by some of the biggest companies in the world, like Microsoft and Ernst and & Young. And Coca-Cola is, is using the Ethereum blockchain ethereum is at the forefront of enterprise adoption ethereum will it was their baseline protocol um ethereum will disrupt the stock markets uh, bond markets real estate markets forex markets and derivative markets and derivative markets is a huge uh multi hundred billion dollar markets okay Ethereum has not one, but about a dozen layer two scaling solution being deployed right now. Uh, Ethereum uh, proposal for improvement, Ethereum uh, improvement proposal 1559 will introduce fee burning, making Ethereum potentially a deflationary asset. And more than 5 million Ethereum currently locked in DeFi, actually 6.1 million right now with the introduction of why ETH volts expect this doubled by the next year. And this is one of the reasons that Earn Finance, we'll talk about that, the Earn Finance introduced uh, Ethereum staking. And it's very, very bullish for Ethereum. So you can see the Wi-Fi, the nav uh, native token of DeFi protocol Earn Finance has been exploding growth since its launch. Yes, it's trading at $33,000 right now. The token so far urged, uh, surged by 8,900%, taking its value from just under $1,000 a couple of months ago to form local highs of nearly $40,000 in this past weekend. This parabolic momentum which saw Wi-Fi surpass Bitcoin in terms of value is mostly attributable to a massive influx of various digital assets into the protocols, multiple staking pools. I'll discuss that in just a moment. What does it mean? And they roll out the Ethereum staking, the YETH. So that's why a lot of people have been buying Ethereum. On August 31st, Earn Finance roll out Ethereum Vault that allows users to stake their Ethereum holdings to earn high returns via its new product, YETH. The vault went live a few hours ago after a community vote. The new product will likely attract vast amount of Ethereum tokens from the market, creating a higher demand for Ethereum because people want to buy Ethereum and they want to use YETH new product to get for them and earn high returns on their Ethereum. You know, that's why we're seeing such a big, big skyrocket action for the Ethereum price. Um, now ethereum uh also will have ethereum 2.0 by the way the the first version of it will be coming by the late of september staking staking will be introduced on the ethereum 
Network staking will fundamentally change the economics, making in the saving economy and locking up loads of Ethereum, causing scarcity on the market because people are, when they stake, they cannot sell Ethereum on the exchanges. So staking is going to be huge uh, for the price appreciation for Ethereum. Ethereum 2.0 sharding and web assembly will be major performance upgrades. Okay, um, so all of this is enough reasons for you guys to understand, you know, Ethereum 2.0 is coming, development is coming, DeFi is growing, Ethereum can reach, uh, you know, a couple thousand dollars, maybe, maybe even this year, maybe even this year. Next year is going to be even huge, even more huge for Ethereum. Ethereum DeFi craze continues with sushi swap. 250 million locked in unaudited contract again. This even an audited contract, yet it attracted uh, $250 million. SushiSwap is a clone of Uniswap, and Uniswap is right now they have more daily trading volume than Coinbase, right? And uh, people are basically, when they trade on SushiSwap, they're earning sushi. And uh, <laughs> are you hungry? Are you hungry for sushi? Are you hungry for gains? You know, this tremendous growth, I mean, look at this. Uh, it's falling right now. Sushi is already trading on Binance, OKEX, Hyobi Global, Uniswap. Okay, so um, yeah, it's highly speculative. Again, this kind of explosion in a DeFi space, we'll talk about that in a moment. I mean, it creates big opportunities. People are making loads and loads of profits and money, but it also can explode if it grows too fast as it is right now. This is the craze. <laughs> <laughs> um, sushi swap protocol so we have the, all of this weird DeFi project that launched recently we have earn we have yam we have uh, you know pasta spaghetti spaghetti protocol right it's only well this one follows the earn that finds script by creating a pool of several that users can put assets into um, that pool will seek the best yields so what what young, what the earn finance wife I is bringing to the table is people are able to use earn finance uh, in order to pick the the, the best um, projects, okay? So that you can uh, get yields on, and by owning YFI, you have this as a governance token, and you have more power to decide which protocols are going to be bringing into the pool of protocols and that's why um the wi-fi has exploded as people want to have wi-fi to have to gain more governance control on which tokens are going to be there on the uh, yield farming uh, you know so uh, essentially a, a lot of people are using earn finance some people even say that one million dollars for earn finance is possible um we have based we have sushi swap we have candies we have wifey <laughs> right wifey oh my gosh um so many of these weird DeFi memes are are popping every single day right now every single day you can see we're seeing a new meme coin pop up every single day before all this DeFi had been humming along quietly taking on value until this june when lending platform compound finance began decentralizing and distributing tokens that allow voting rights on code changes Decentralized finance has made a pivot to what might be called weird decentralized finance. Set of difficult to parse projects whose larger value to the ecosystem is suspect best and whose community is at least 20% driven by inside jokes. <laughs> and uh, essentially, um, we've seen YAM. YAM was the, the first DeFi token that was mostly driven by gathering a lot of people and then building a purpose later. Um, you know, that's, that's what's happening right now. That's what's happening right now. Um, so what is YUM? Uh, it's like ample force, it trades volatility in price for volatility in supply, which is still volatility. One key difference is that each time YUM expands the supply, it automatically buys the revenue generating coin. So, you know, it's hard to understand what these projects are, are doing. So you need to proceed with caution about this. Proceeding caution. Look at this. Yam and spaghetti and others are being used. 
uh, by whales to pump and dump and many non-sophisticated retail investors will be hurt so we'll be careful about that do not FOMO in on such a big big rises to not you know get left in the dust uh, with uh, with losses okay so that's about why I and decentralized finance and it's growing like crazy and this is why Ethereum has been pumping like crazy because uh, YFI is gaining so much popularity and the introduction of why um, this new product by YFI called the uh, YETH okay so I'm not using it myself but I'm exploring uh, this whole thing is, is new to me <laughs> and it's growing like crazy we see the DeFi space how, how big is growing to 9 billion dollars right now 9.16 billion dollars it was just you know four four or five six billion dollars uh recently now you can see 4.5 billion dollars just this month the, the month of august started with four billion dollars it's more than doubled it's 9.16 billion dollars right now uh we're seeing ethereum being uh, uh going down from the exchange balances people are hoarding more ethereum and not selling ethereum and lastly, I want to talk about Venezuela today. Venezuela's Bitcoin use soars because of the hyperinflation there. Uh, the Bolivar of uh, Venezuela has become pretty much worthless uh, coin. And um, a lot of people in Venezuela is rely are reliant on remittances from the other countries. And uh, on the local Bitcoins, uh, it has the third thing. The most active country in the platform is Venezuela. And this is where Bitcoin shines and crypto shines because uh, Venezuelan people can protect their money against the super high inflation that is happening and the crisis that is happening um, in, in the country. So all in all guys, um, tremendous, tremendous week for and yet another week for the crypto space. We are getting on target. Bitcoin is rising, Ethereum is rising, really awesome to see all of this happening so right now is the time to get in to get all in, in crypto to get those small gem altcoins that can really go and pump like crazy by 50x or 100x in the next bull bull market run that we are seeing right now this is just the start of it i see much bigger movements for bitcoin and ethereum in the coming months ahead of us and uh, those smaller coins, you see the Bitcoin dominance get, getting less and less, are going to explode in uh, value. Uh, a lot of these projects that are doing, um, you know, adding value to the ecosystem. So right now is time to get uh, your bags and uh, take advantage of the profits that this crypto market is bringing to the table. And um, a really awesome way uh, to earn crypto right now is through the use of decentralized smart contracts whether it's on the ethereum blockchain or the tron blockchain it's really awesome uh, to earn uh, right now with decentralized finance uh, decentralized applications decentralized smart contracts um, and um, position yourself and then diversify and build your portfolio so with that being said i hope you have a fantastic day and fantastic week we'll see you in the next episodes